Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Usari Gwe Faith Oji, is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. Anytime I call him to ask him about the children and welfare, he kept referring me to telling me that I should tell my dad that he should take care of the kids. And I keep telling him that it's not grandfathers that take care of children, that they are his children, so he has to do the needful. Ever since the marriage, it was a total toxic. I lost my peace of mind, I lost my business, I lost my finance. To be very honest with you, I am completely exhausted, I am tired. It was a total mistake getting involved in the first place. And I am just trying, finding a way out. In regards to marriage being toxic, the marriage was never toxic. The three years, I'm very sure that the three years me living in, with him, there was nothing like toxic. We were living fine. What are you doing right now? I'm, are you working? No, I've not really gotten a job. I'm into online business stuff. So I start, when I get customers, I make supply for them. Would the two of you want a professional marriage counselor to step in? I don't want the marriage right now. You don't want it anymore? You can't force the party to stick to the other party. Do you understand? Sure. So that's the way, that is it. So now we have to come to the children of the marriage. You have two daughters. Yes, ma'am. He said, he claims that he pays their school fees. Yes, he pays school fees. He picks their medical bill. He just did it last time, just once. When you asked for it. I've been asking before now. But like I rightly say, it's because maybe this one, where I went to, the man is from my hometown. And that man used to charge, very, because even after that 20, 29,000 was paid, she started running temperature. And I took her back to that place. The man gave her injection and billed me 45000 So I had to stop going there because I know it's going to be another challenge to release you know, that amount again. To you me. see the way that's going to be? Can you provide hospital for them over there that they can be used? <clears throat> right now, ordinarily, that's what I intended doing. I, I like right now, to be very honest with you, I'm on debt from where I live to my shop. Even renewing my uh, driver's license, I'm on debt. So right now, I'm on the floor. The school fees I used to pay, if I tell you how I saved the money, you'll be like, wow. I try to make sure the issue of their school fees is not a challenge. So imagine when you call me from nowhere and tell me, send 48,000, send 50,000 with one flimsy story. How am I supposed to manufacture it? Do I print money? So let me tell you the position of the law, because I think it's about I like to understand your rule as the father of the children before the law. You are supposed to provide, whether you are married or you are not married, provided you are the biological father of those children. The law mandates you to take up the welfare of the children, of the marriage. Basic things, you're already doing one, the school fees. Medical. Then, welfare. That's feeding and everything. On monthly basis, you provide. The law does not recognize the fact that um, you can't put up anything. No. Because even you, you feed. You don't look famished. So the children's welfare has to be. It might be ordinarily, maybe you say, I, could, I would have provided maybe five naira. But right now, what I can provide is three naira. Because what we're talking about, it's not about her. It's not about. Whatever relationship the two of you have now is about your duty and obligation towards the children of the marriage. So that's where we are right now. So we address that. And now you have two kids with you. 
regardless of whatever he provides. Yeah, I graduate, you said. Dust your certificates. Get a job. And the two of you have to learn how to co-parent and push the children all the way up there. I hope with time, the two of you will be able to see reasons. Maybe learn to forgive each other and um, be able to communicate and have a better relationship. Because that matters a lot. You have children between you. If you are at each other's throat and you are cat and dog, it will affect the children too. Do you understand me? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So I both have to learn how to co-parent regardless of whatever is on ground. Regardless of each one's position towards your relationship and marriage. Let the children's welfare be paramount at this stage now. I want you to be having access to those children. Speak with them regularly. Do you understand? These are your children, regardless of what, whatever. I'm sure they have not offended you. I don't have any issue with my children. Speak with them regularly, because at times when you speak with them, you get to know their progress, and you might even know where you can step in. Fatherly figure, their role is different. Motherly figure, the role is equally different. And there's a lot on your laps now. You understand me, because you have daughters. You are supposed to be a role model for those children. You have to live up to that. Do you understand? Yes, ma. So, uh, Your Honor, in regards to the school, is he also supposed to provide the books? It's part of the school. Thing. Because the books has he's not providing. School, 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 school fees goes with books, and if the school provides uniform. It goes with everything that goes to the school. That's the way it goes. And um, like I said earlier on, you have to get a job too. Sure, I'm. Um, you have I'm to. For that. Because you know, you both know, the, you know his financial position. Right now. I don't know, Mao, because he has his sister in the house, so he's also feeding her, taking care of her, paying her necessary bills. So if he can house his sister in let, let me Let me tell you something. At the stage the two of you are right now, the only thing I expect you to focus on for now is the children. It's the children. And you really both have to work on that. It's about the children. You said it now. You said the sister. Not that he has another woman in the house. Ah, she be his woman contacted me last time. I sent the evidence to you. You will see it there where they were communicating. He was this is a lady he impregnated before getting married to me, and he abandoned that child. And I I called his attention to it, to it and said, take care of the baby. He refused. The girl has he had to when he returned me home. He started chatting her so that he can be having fun with her. So the lady said she wouldn't buy his story. That she has always known him to break a, a chronic liar. That they were never peace. He was trying to bring positive energy. She said you they see, never had any see, positive energy. You see, you know what? You are not in Lagos. You are in Lagos. I don't know if the counselor can work out an arrangement, maybe by conference, WhatsApp call. I want you to have session on the children. You will be reprogrammed towards discussing only the children. I traveled to Abba to visit my children, unannounced. She and her mother went into hiding. The younger sister locked the gate and Imagine refused to allow me. In my house, I will hide. Children. House that was due to about 10 years ago, to, before you came you, to the you, house. Did you inform her that you were coming? Imagine. She did not he pick didn't my call. call. Stop lying. So you didn't pick? You Which didn't? pick? He did not call. He, when he called, I went to the market. Which? So only for me to come out and see missed calls. Did you return his call? Yes, I did. And what happened? And he didn't pick. And I got back home. My siblings were the only one at home. 
My parents went to You know what? You want to check the children? Be straight. Listen. You want, wait. You want to check up on the children? If you call, she doesn't pick. Send message. Tell the legal team, I'm going, I've called her. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is the time I'm traveling down. She's not picking out, but I've sent message to her. You have custody right now. He has ah, access well, because of the age of the children. Yeah. Don't abuse it. Do you understand? Let him. If it's the other way around, the same thing I'm telling you is what I will tell him. Any of the, any, each, with the property out of the parents that have the custody of the children, there is no law that will stop the other party from having access to their children. There is no law in Nigeria, unless maybe that person, maybe the mental state is not okay, not those, but on a, on a good day. I've never so denied the, him access unless, to the Unless you know they are not, he's not their biological father. They look exactly like him. So that's even why I'm wondering why this former hatred over the kids. He does not call. The mm. few times he talked to them, I'm the one that you initiated know, it. Do you know what? Do you know what? The two of you, I noticed, you know, when you came, you were both, I hope he has calmed down. You have to calm down too. Do you understand me? You don't even have to call each other. You can communicate by text messages. You don't have to be rude to each other either. So that's something you can work on. So you have a list of what you normally send down before. That list that was sent to you, how long did it last? It didn't, it didn't last. It's good. Then they were little, very much little. Because the, the, the. So now they eat more of adult they, food, adult not food. children food any longer. Good. So how do you go about that? Food still? You still prefer food stuff or you prefer to send money? I would prefer to send food stuff ordinarily because I know sending money at the end of the day. You still have to add money for transport, no matter how small. What do you say? No okay, matter how small. If I can't be sending food stuff, and be sending money. Then send only money. So how much do you want to send? I'll maybe I'll be sending 5,000 every month. So 5,000 to feed two children. Three times a day, 30 days. And that makes sense to you? I don't have right now. You don't have? Right now. <laughs> For the two girls, they will be receiving 10,000, 5,000, 10,000 a month. My own, there is no problem. You see what I'll ask? I want you to draw a timetable for her now of what you expect her to feed them with in the morning, afternoon, night for the 30 days. So she will write it down and she'll be make sure that 5,000 naira is used to purchase exactly whatever you put forward to her. So, tell her, you, you, you don't have, you live alone now. Sometimes you eat, you buy food items. Sometimes you eat outside. So you have an idea. Just tell her, that is all. 10,000, 10, no problem. So, subject to review. Pay the fees and everything. The school fees, the medical. Do you understand? How old are the children? Uh, my first daughter clocked five. On September, the other one on May, uh, three years. No problem. Is there any other issue? Any other thing? Not. No. Any other thing? When the love in a relationship diminishes to a point that the couple decide to go their separate ways, how to jointly raise the children from the relationship becomes very important. Church Fumi encourages both parties to use the service of a counselor on co-parenting. After the break, Church Fumi rules. So before you leave, talk to the, go to the legal team. So they can arrange the, you have some sessions on the co-parenting aspects. Do you understand me? For the, you can have at least maybe like three sessions with them so that they can guide you. There are a lot of ways you can communicate without having all this tantrum and uh, being antagonistic towards each other. You will be programmed towards that. Then 
on monthly basis, the defendant will pay, the dad or father of the children will pay for their, for their welfare. That's 20,000 naira on monthly basis for the children feeding. Pay for their school fees, educational um, items as well. Then you are responsible for their clothing. You know the way they outgrow. You do the clothing for now. And subsidize, because we know the 10,000 naira cannot go far. You have to manage and try to subsidize that for now. And the last medical, within the next one week. I'll make inquiries about... Um, you make you get back... To, you get back to the legal team to provide the medical facility that will be available for the children where she resides in the east. That's where the children are right now. So, and either of you can always come back for review of all the things that I've decided on today. That's my job. So, ma, sorry. With, um, in regards to the loan, I got that he took from me and I'm yet to pay. What about that? And also... That's not why you're here. You didn't file anything before me over that. Okay. Okay. You know? Okay. Or did you? No, ma. That's my judgment. All right. All right. Hold on. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, Submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.